Welcome to your Flame Fundamentals training. When working with specific media, sometimes you may be required to view your sequence with an overlay like a letterbox for example. So you'll cover how to view your media with an overlay in the player and then you'll learn the difference between viewing with an overlay and exporting with an overlay. Now depending what viewing mode you're looking at, the overlays option will present itself in two ways. For the source sequence players, the overlays option will be a pop-up window. But if you're looking at the single player, the overlays option will appear as a panel next to the player. Just click the player options pull down menu and show the overlays panel. Here you will find a variety of overlays that should be incredibly useful. Guides, safe areas, center, grids and letterbox. So you can use any of these overlays to help align your image. For example, clicking the letterbox pull down menu, you will get a variety of standard letterbox formats. Anything from cinema based letterboxes going all the way up to ratios used on various digital platforms like social media. You can use whichever one you need or you can create your own custom one which can be saved as a preset. This overlay is now applied on all the players and you can see the results on your media and sequences without destructively burning the letterbox into the image. Looking at the clip in the media panel, you can verify that there is no overlay on the actual clip. So the player overlays are for viewing only purposes. You can turn them off via the pull down menu or clicking the reset button. The same option in the player options pull down menu will hide the overlays panel. Now if you're using the overlay in the player options, it will not be exported on top of your image. You will just get your exported images and nothing else. If you wish to permanently burn an overlay into your image, I recommend using the burn in timeline effects. For example, let's say you want to burn a letterbox on top of your sequence. In order for this to happen, the overlay needs to be part of the sequence. So ensure you create an empty video track at the top of your sequence and select the gap segment which runs the length of the sequence. Click the effects button and you will see a burn in letterbox timeline effects. Choosing this effect will apply the timeline effects to the gap segment. Now move your focus point to the top track and anything falling underneath the gap segment will be covered by the burn in letterbox. So the gap segment acts like a virtual adjustment track for the tracks below and you can adjust the letterbox in the effects menus above the sequence. This overlay is now part of the sequence and looking at the clip in the media panel, you will see the letterbox being applied. When exporting this clip, the letterbox will be burnt into the exported image. As a tip, there is another timeline effects called burn in metadata which allows you to burn metadata onto the image like names, timecode, etc. But that is covered in another video. Finally, you may find the other methods of burning overlays onto a clip, but I consider this as the most flexible workflow. Please move on to the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning channel. Thanks for watching.